What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In a surprise turn of events, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 15.4.x with Xena A15 version 2.0. So in order for us to use Xena A15 version 2.0, we must be on an A12 through A15 slash M1 device, and we also must be on iOS 15.0 through iOS 15.4.1. You can see that this device is on iOS 15.1, but of course it also works on 15.4.x as well. You can also use the Xena and Dopamine Jailbreak at the same time. A separate tutorial for that will be down below in the description. Also, if you're coming from Xena A15 version 1, it's best to uninstall that version before making the switch to this one. This is just to ensure that nothing breaks as version 2 is completely different than version 1. However, if you're starting fresh, you'll need Troll Store. Here's how to get it. So all of the links will be down below in the description. You just want to copy and paste the first link in the description. It's going to ask if you want to open it up in iTunes. Tap open and you can go ahead and just press install here. Troll Helper wants to install and then if you go ahead and go out, you can see an app that says JB will now start to install on your device. And then once that's done, you can see it says GTA Car Tracker. Pretty much this is just an installer for Troll Store. So all you have to do is tap Tap install Troll Store, and then once the device resprings and you're back up, you can see Troll Store is right there. Also, thanks to a core trust bug that was discovered, all you have to do is go into the Car Tracker app and hit Register Persistence Helper. And once you do that, Troll Store and whatever app you sign with Troll Store will just be permanently signed on the device and it will no longer expire after that seven day limit, which we're so used to seeing. Next up, go into the Troll Store app under settings and install LDID. There's a few different ways to install Xena. You can either go to the GitHub page and you can download it from there. You can also use Xena's official website linked down below to get the IPA as well. Not only do you have the option to download the IPA directly, you also now can open the IPA directly in Troll Store. You can press on open in Troll Store on the website, which is the second button there, but unless you have the URL scheme enabled, you get this weird magnifying glass thing. So go into the settings if you want to install it this way on Troll Store and make sure that the URL scheme is enabled. So that way this actually works properly. Opening it with Troll Store will start to download it. Or if you downloaded the IPA, just make sure to tap on it and go to the share sheet and then open it inside of Troll Store. Tap install. It'll go ahead and install it and put it on your device and you can see here's the jailbreak. For the first time in a while, automatic package installation is back in version 2.0. In the early days of Xena A15 last year, package manager installation was part of the jailbreaking process. In the later versions of Xena A15, automatic installation was removed and people had to sideload the package managers manually through Troll Store. It was a little bit annoying to have to go through this process each time manually. Now though, the tool handles everything as long as you have it enabled. Pick either Cilio or Sali to install automatically with the jailbreak. So let's do it. Tap on open jailbreak to get started. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now here we go. The jailbreak will start to install and pretty soon we'll be jailbroken on 15.4.1 with Xena. Here it's installing the package managers manually. You can see it says Sally and Cilio. And it says the jailbreak is about to be completed. Just press OK and your device will now respring. And from there, once we come back, we should see Cilio or Sally on our device. And now we're back, swipe up to unlock, and congratulations, now you're jailbroken on Xena A15 version 2.0. And now you can start using your favorite rootless tweaks on Xena. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Xena A15 is now fully rootless. I do have to say this genuinely came out of nowhere. No one was expecting another version of Xena A15. Dopamine came out and it felt like that was pretty much it. And one morning out of nowhere, Xena A15 just had a 15.4.x update. Even as I'm editing this, Xena actually just dropped a new update right now. And the UI looks more and more like Pangu. I love it. So honestly, it's pretty interesting that Xena is seemingly back. And I hope now that that means that maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see something for 16.5 as well. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. So that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.